Welcome to Real Talk Live with Roddy Grimes and Lady Z and me. Oh, How about that? Good job. Ah, welcome. Hey, welcome everyone. Good evening, good evening. Welcome, welcome. Ooh. It's Real Talk Live with Rodney Grimes. People to people, power to power, positive, positive thinking people. people. And it's Friday night. Woo! Friday night, day night. Yes, yes, yes. That's as, what we as, do. Um, as she was saying, whoop, whoop. Yep. <laughs> Tawani, she Tawani was trying to say, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> how about yes, that? Yes, yes, yes. Don't you turn that Bible. Look at you, how you handling things. Thank you. <laughs> I got my, we, we blessed the day to have a, 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 a little. Our oldest granddaughter here. Yeah, we got, a, we got a little guest in the house, and uh, we're excited that she's going to be here participating and be a part of uh, us today. Mm. And, and she's looking, I'm looking too, trying to see if, if, if it's, if it's, Doing anything. Well, it would be nice if you turned the light on. Oh, how about that? Yeah, I mean, let's get some light shining down on us. How about that? Again, welcome everyone to Real Talk Live with Rodney Grimes, Lady Z, and our beautiful granddaughter, our oldest granddaughter, Mila. She's joining us tonight. We have her, I guess we have you for the weekend, do we? Yes. <laughs> so it's great to be here. Hope you all had. Or had a great work week and looking forward to your weekend. Remember to put in the comments what your plans are for tonight since you're joining us. Are you having a meal? Are you planning a movie night? Are you having just a gathering with your children, your grandchildren, like we are, our granddaughter tonight? Tell us what you're going to do. Put it in the comments. Let us know and we will comment and we will voice it to you. And let's start. How about that? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting excited. I'm just loving this. Well, you see, we are um, um, profiling the... Oh, yes, yes, yeah, yes, 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 yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, we yeah. stand up here. We, yes, we pro yes. Yeah, we profiling the uh, iron, sharpened iron, uh, sweatshirts. Uh, shout out to Anthony and his wife. Um, man, support. That's what we were supposed to do is support one another. I love the I love the quality of these uh, these. Uh, and yes, it's, it's very it's thick, very warm, very comfortable, very comfortable. As a matter of fact, I had to open up the door. <laughs> <laughs> I got my fan over here, my yeah. own personal fan. <laughs> I had to open up the door to uh, uh, make sure some air comes in because <laughs> I ain't going to have to be breaking into a sweat, and I know I'm going to bring all this water. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. But uh, we are really, really, really happy. Um, and excited. Um, so I, I, I kind of wanted to focus on some things today, more so um, than just it being date night. And uh, we, we decided to, to use the Iron Sharpen Iron uh, logos um, today um, because we are really in that era where that's what we need to do. We need to really, really focus on sharpening each other. We have a new beginning. We have a brand new president. God bless America. I love this country. This is my country. And 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 uh, the song when she said, "This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to New York Island, from the Redwood Forest." You don't even know that song, dude. <laughs> What's made for you and me? That's right. This land is for you and me, and and we got to really, really understand that. If we if we got anything out of 2020, um, we have to realize it's not just about being about yourself. It's about us coming together and moving forward. And I talk about this every time that we're we're um, on the air. One of the things that uh, really, really uh, impressed me that with this uh, inauguration that we saw a, 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 a real variety of our cultures. We saw a variety of powerful things taking place. Um, what's the young lady name that did the poem? It was Amanda Gordon. Amanda Gordon? Okay. Beautiful Amanda Gordon. Yes, I mean, very, very powerful. Yeah. Somebody was grooming that young lady oh at a young goodness. age. Somebody who had positive energy somebody was sharpening her when she was young. When my granddaughter, when you came over the other night, 
and we're not going to talk about why you had to come, <laughs> but this is her home too, so whenever she wants to come, she's more than welcome. She has her bedroom. The girls have their room. The boys got their room, and, and so, you know, it's not, they don't have to make no special arrangements, but before you went to bed, tell me what, what, what did me and your grandmother do? Um. Do you remember? Just before you went to sleep. Yes. I, re I read yeah, out of what? The Bible. Speak loud. The Bible. I made you, I didn't make you, I asked you. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you to read the 23rd Psalm. You know, kids song. will tell, they will, will tell. tell. <laughs> and did you read it? Yes. And then what did we do after that? Before, after, um, we, after you read that, prayed. we prayed. And one of the things, uh, the reason why, well, I, I'm just asking you, why did you think that I asked you to read that? Do you know? you have any idea? Huh? Um, what you think? Just tell me what you think. Um, I guess because you know, you know yes. Come on, man. Right. Yeah, I do. And, 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 and the reason why I prayed is because I believe in prayer. And I believe in changing things. And I believe that when we invest in you, you are like the iron. Remember we was talking about that? I asked you what was iron. What did you tell me? Um, it was a strong element. <laughs> yes. See, I already know. Sometimes you just got to go to the kids and let the kids come to you. And they'll tell you the truth and they can speak the truth. It is a strong element. And I know you don't really understand the concept of iron sharpened iron, but I'm going to explain it to you as you get older, and I'm going to demonstrate it to you as we move forward. Um, I have, um, hold on one second. Andrea, and the answer is yes. That is that beautiful little girl that took the pictures in the white dress. She's all grown up now. <laughs> she ain't grown up. No, she ain't grown up. She's not grown She's up. Not She's grown growing up. up. She's growing up. She's gotten taller. She acts, or she's like, wow, she has grown. Yes, she has. And hello, Kimberly Wilson. She's here. She said the same thing. Wow, she's grown fast. Um, Desi is here. Hi, Desi. Glad to have you. Hey, big brother Troy. And Rachel is here. Welcome to everybody that's joining in. Well, it's, I, I, I'm going to run through something real quick that I want people to know something. Um, we've been very slow to tagging people and and posting on people's pages. I, I, I want, if it's a problem with anybody, you know, to get in touch with us. Um, we don't do that to irritate you. We do that to just, it's, it's marketing. It's marketing. And, and what we do is, right now, that's kind of like the only way that we can really move around and let people know what's going on. And if you, if you uh, would like, you don't want us to, or prefer us not to, just text me. Text me and let me know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, we're not doing that to irritate nobody or disrespect anybody. Um, what we're doing is using the platform. If I, I'm like this, I figure like this: if you're my friend and you're doing something positive, mm -hmm. you can post it on my page. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't care. If you're doing something positive, I don't want no negative energy. I don't want nothing that's going to downplay the credit. We're talking about iron sharpened iron, okay? Iron sharpened iron. When iron is being sharpened, it's sharpened for a reason. It's trying to get it to a point where it's going to be able to perform at the level that it, that you needed to do it. And, 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 you know, that's how they use the swords and so forth and so on. But we know what iron sharpened iron is. I'm, my, my granddaughter is going to read... Uh, uh, something from Proverbs in a few minutes. But I, I, I want you to know that uh, we got to continue to build. This is a, this is not easy. This is not easy. Um, here, my granddaughter seen us. You saw us having to get all the equipment together and everything and put it all together. And she was just looking at us, running back and forth. And this is work. But you know something? All of us have a position. And I just know that somehow or another, in a long, in the long, uh, long run, God is going to show everybody because we're being obedient. He's going to show you when you stick to something and you stay focused on it that He's going to bless you. 
and I believe that 100%, Amen. you know, 100. Yes. And one of the reasons I'm doing some of these things is because my beautiful granddaughter, I got, I got, I got uh, three other granddaughters, I mean two other granddaughters, no, well, I, I can say three, five, <laughs> we got a lot of grandkids because we got grandkids that are not biologically ours, that are ours too. And we love them, and we don't we don't treat them no different. So sometimes you'll see where we kind of stutter because we don't want to ever leave them out because when all of them come, they all belong to us. Yes, but yes. but we are like the the, the 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 other part of the iron, and we're just trying to sharpen them, and we're trying to sharpen them, and and to do so, we're using this platform until we get better and get in another position to do otherwise. I thought when I bought my lottery ticket the other day, I thought when they said it was a winner, I, I thought it was me. I jumped up and just started uh, saying, oh man, we can get everything we need. And uh, you know, well, it is what it is. That's all right. Well, you know, maybe That's the person that's, that won to hear this and they just call me and they say, yeah. and say, you know what, don't worry about it, bro. We're going to get you what you need to keep moving forward. <laughs> so, you know, I'm you just saying positive. You, you never, never know. know. I just say God bless America and God bless you too. You know what I mean? And exactly. I'm happy for the person that won because I know when they woke up, Lord have mercy. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know they just had to just roll over and slap themselves about 900 times. That's all right. Our but blessings is coming. We've been blessed every single day. But we are. We are. Ours is coming. Yes. It's coming. So it's real talk live with Rodney Grimes. People to people, power to power, positive to thinking people. people. We have our granddaughter Mila sitting here with us who's participating. And uh, as we're talking about different things, um, so, who's the new president? Um, Joe Biden. And what's the uh, vice president name? Um, Kamala Harris. How do you feel about that? Um, good. You do? Yeah. yeah. So, do you think that you could ever get to that level? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's good, that's good. One of the things that uh, we don't want people to assume um, is that... Uh, we don't appreciate what God is doing and where we are in this time, how we are moving forward, all of us. And that's what we have to do as a country. Sometimes there's certain things that we'll say on the air that we'll get, they either cut us off or they'll stop us from uh, 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 sharing or whatever. But we don't do anything to disrespect anybody. We just try to sharpen the iron. We're trying to sharpen the iron. We're trying to sharpen each other. We're trying to be a platform for each other. So, um, go ahead. I want, I want my granddaughter to read. Uh, read uh, Proverbs 27. Uh, what's that? Seven, uh, uh, verse 17 to 20. Can you read that for me and read it loud? Iron, sharp, or iron sharpens iron, so man sharpens the continuance of his friend. Who's kept... Big tree shall eat the fruit thereof. So he could see that break on his master shall be on it as if the water face answered to face. So the man had part man to man. That's it? Yes. Did you read which would you read? Seventeen and what? Twenty. To twenty? Oh, I should have said to twenty nine. Because <laughs> she was doing good. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 one of the things that I think when we think about that is, you know, we have to think about each other. You know, I think that it's, when, when we read that, watch it, I'll close that. Let me get that. Uh, we have to be careful, and we have to know that God's word is for us to 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 help each other. To grow and to move forward and, and, and to help each other. And that's what iron sharpened irons pretty much stands for. When you think about it, it's about us helping it, helping our neighbors and helping our family members and helping people become better. And, and, and so we have to, to do that. And, and it's just good when people take that opportunity to share the love and support. That's what we be asking everybody to do. Hit share, hit like. It don't cost anything, um, and, and, and the bigger we become, the better we are, because that opportunity is now opening doors 
for some young people that we are trying to sharpen the opportunity of life for. Um, I'm just excited about what's been happening. I've been getting uh, text messages, conversations from all over the place. We got people who be tuning in from Africa. We got people tuning in from Texas, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. T uh, um, I mean, just all over. And, and, and it's really, really exciting. Uh, not everybody will uh, put in a message, but that's okay. But we do um, receive information when they tell us, they say, oh, man, you're doing a good job. Well, it's not me doing a good job. It's us doing a good job when we come together and continue to move forward. Where we are right now, as we move forward now with this new administration, it is not just up, it's never been just up to the president or to the, the leaders of the country to make things right in the country. It's up to us as a people. We have to do our part. And it starts right inside of your home. It starts right inside your home. And it's irrelevant what your neighbor is doing if they're doing something negative. As long as it's not really affecting your life, you've got to keep moving positive. You keep moving in the direction to stay positive because what happens is that when you do that, eventually that positive energy catches on. And we got we got to stay in that in that, in that mode. And um, what you want? Oh, I thought you did something. So so uh, we got to stay focused and know that it's up to us to make the changes. You know, it's nice to look pretty. It's nice to look sharp. It's nice to get out there and get recognition and people to see you successful. But what do you really do with that success? You can't take it to your grave. But what you can do is you can pass it on to the next generation. I was so proud of that young lady when she was reciting that poem. I was, I mean, it was, it made me stand up. I was still in, I, I hadn't even, wasn't even fully dressed, but I stood up and I felt just, I felt the chill of coming over. And not only did I feel the chill because I'm an American, but I felt the chill because she was a black queen representing us in a positive and strong way. And all I could think about is my granddaughter. And I, I thought about my granddaughters and, and, and all the other young females. And I want to say this too, when we talk about the individuals who are people of color, that does not exclude white America, because we got positive people, period, in this country. We got good points, and it's just that when we see that life has given us the opportunity to shine, it, it, it does something for us. And I don't like it that what we do is be beat down or put down when we want to stand up and say we are proud of who we are. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, you can jump in anytime you want. You well, said actually, we you want to tell, um, show what we're having. Um, um, for our meal tonight. And don't think that we're not feeding her. <laughs> <laughs> she eats. She eats all day long, <laughs> but she just had hers. She just ate hers um, just before we came on. And she'll probably be and in my place. She'll probably be nibbling in our place yeah, as well. So. I'm sure, because <laughs> she she's like that. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, um, can I bless you real quick? Yes. And so yes. that way, if you want to get into it. Father God, we thank you, Father, for this opportunity to nourish our bodies. We ask that the Holy Spirit continue to bless us and keep us, Father. We ask, Father, that all those that are joining in tonight that you have blessed them and those that aren't joining in that may see this program later i send peace and blessings to them as well we just ask you father to continue to keep us focused and moving in the right direction all in the name of jesus christ we pray amen amen amen, amen. amen. god bless america yes, oh man yes. I, I i i i'm just at a point right now that uh, i'm just feeling really really strong about just doing my part yes Iron sharpens iron. <laughs> what do you go ahead and do, I, I tell you, don't be messing in my, my stuff. So, hey, how you? about showing them what we have it first oh. before you? Um, okay. Um, and the water is infused water, and I just got fruits in it and some um, mint leaves. Um, we have a bowl of fruit. Okay. Give me. So, 
This was put together by the wife. There we go. It has a bowl of fruit. And we have, what kind of salad is That's that? That's a sesame salad. A sesame salad mm -hmm. with uh, salmon? That's salmon. Okay. On the side. All right. And so then we got the bowl of fruit. And the bowl of fruit. Yeah, and you know you should have made a bowl of fruit for her because I'm see, hoping but that she can eat off mine, so it's fine. She can yeah, eat off mine. You know, because uh, she will just uh, love. And then we have the. Uh, and yes, that she always do, and I love that water, and I just drink it and enjoy it. It's very healthy. And again, um, I'm, I'm looking on here, and I don't see anybody putting anything about what they're having. Are you all having a dinner or snacks? Popcorn, movie, talk to me. Tell me what you're doing out there tonight. It's Friday. What are your plans for tonight? What are you doing? You're watching us, and we're very happy about that. But I also would like to know what you're doing out there. What do you um, got planned for tonight? Jay Major said, I still need your help with, <laughs> I still need your help with my fish tank. Hey, Jay, all you got to do is uh, call me um, when you get a chance. Call me tonight if you can about uh, 9 o'clock. And, and and so we, you can tell me where you are and what you need to do, and I'll be right there um, to help you out, and we'll figure something out on how Eva I could get to you or whatever. Uh, I have no problem with helping you. And he says we hold one another accountable. We do hold one another accountable. You know what I've been finding? Uh, a lot of people been saying they say, Rodney, man, you're doing a good job. But but I can't. You know you can't run a business by yourself. I mean, even if you're cutting grass and, a, and, a, and you know, you, 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 you burn yourself out if you're just doing all the work yourself. If you have a team with you, 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 you get the job done and you're more productive when you move forward. And, um, and so that's one of the things that I look forward to that, um, you know, during our process. I knew she was going to do that. Um, um, is 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 that I ask people to join in with us and help us to uh, move forward so that we'll be positive uh, with each other and we'll be a blessing to one another and and so and without success it's all about us really really helping each other we got some young people that's going to um, really need our guidance and our help again um, what, what's the young lady name again uh, Amanda Huh? Amanda? What's her name? Amanda Gordon. Amanda Gordon. When I, when I thought about just her parents, her her guardians, or people, any, the person who raised her, I couldn't imagine how proud they were right there when they was listening to her and saw how she was so articulate with uh, sharing that poem um, that she's going to go down in history. Yes, indeed. She will go down in history. And I don't think that she really was aware of what she was actually accomplishing that day. Right. And I, I'm just so excited to see that change is coming. Change is coming for all of us. And it's up to us to do it. And, you know, it, it's just funny. So... I, I want to share some other things, right? Um, this is a talk show. A lot of times when I'm talking, please don't get offended. A lot of times I can be very aggressive with my dialogue based on the fact that some things that some people have shared with me and um, I saw that it affected them in a very, very negative way and, and, and I get a little emotional with it. But... I don't want people to read and think that when I be talking, I'm just talking about me and my household. This is a platform when I say people to people, that's me, you, and them. The power, the power we possess, the power you possess, the power they possess, and the power when we put it together. And that's why I'm, I'm, I'm saying, now what's going to happen is, we are, we're in the process of still trying to find a location. Because of the pandemic, um, um, things are... Uh, a little rough for us, and I forgot to tell you that the guy that I, for that location on M Street, uh, one of them called me back today, and I forgot to call him back. I was in the doctor's office, oh. so I got to call him back. Well, that's good news. Thanks. Yeah. So, um, the, the the thing that I'm just telling you is God is working. Mm -hmm. 
But we, we, we have to do our part. And, you know, it's really, really important for us to have this platform. I, I was listening to another gentleman on 98.3 today. Um, they have a talk show that um, I actually called in and they was talking about uh, about receiving the uh, the, the uh, shot for the COVID. And so the guy, the gentleman asked me, he said, sir, are you going to receive the shot? And many, many times I said no. But then I realized that uh, I want to live. And some people said some real strong things to me that made sense. They said, Rodney, you know, back in the day, we had a lot of things that didn't go well for us in, in this country. But technology and everything has changed. And when we trust in God, God will protect us. And he uses different things, and he gives us those uh, tools to help us move forward. So the guy on the program, he told a story about, he said, um, it was a man on the roof, and I hope I can tell this the way he said it. He said it was a man on the roof, and it was a real big flood, and the water was coming in, and a, and a man came by. Um, with a rowboat, and and he said, "Come on, sir, jump in the boat." And and the man said, "Oh no, go ahead, go ahead, because God will provide." And 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 he said the the rowboat went on the left, and then a, a helicopter came, and they threw down the ladder, and and said, "Grab onto the ladder," because the water was coming in all around the guy, and the guys said, "No, go ahead, because God will provide." And so the the helicopter flew off. And the water came in, and the man ended up drowning. Mm. And when he got to heaven, he said, God, why you ain't help me? Why, why, why? I, I, I told him that you would provide for me. And God said, I did. I tried to give you what you needed. I, I tried to provide for you. I sent a boat. I sent a helicopter. But you didn't, you didn't use it. You didn't use it. So what else did you expect me to do? So think about it. I want people to realize this. We know that there's a serious situation going on. We have to be healthy. You have to eat right. I'm changing my eating habits. I, 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 I had to go to the uh, emergency care the, uh, yesterday and I had to go back again today um, because I was being hard-headed. I wasn't being uh, uh, focusing on my eating like I was supposed to. And, 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 and I had to think about it when I was riding home and, and, and talking to my wife when she said to me, she said, Rodney, what did the doctor say? And then he started telling me to watch what I'm eating. And he was telling me why I was having those pains and, and why the things was going on with my body the way it was, which I don't really want to discuss that part of it. And then I thought about it as I was going because I always kept saying, I don't want to take no medicine. I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that. Okay, then I must want to die. That that's must be what it is. I must want to die. And no, I don't want to die. Now, now I know it might sound, I'm going around in a lot of different directions, but it all comes back to iron sharp and iron, because let me show you something. The whole time for this last uh, month, my wife has been consistently talking about my eating habits. She saw me slipping and sneaking, doing things I ain't supposed to be doing. And so she know that I'm not supposed to eat that. And she's like, babe, why are you eating that? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? And I was like, I got it. I, you know, blah, blah, blah. Now, here we go. That was my wife being the other part of the iron trying to sharpen me. And, and, and I was not being obedient. I wasn't being realistic. I wasn't looking at the fact that God is also providing uh, a tool to help me move forward, right? And this applies in everybody's life, one way or the other. I want you to work with me with this. You know, we got so many of us out there that got to learn how to not make it just about yourself. Because in the end, you will need somebody else. That's right. Even when you die. Because if you drop dead on the street, you need somebody to pick your body up. You need somebody to bury you. You need somebody to, to, to take care of your, your items that you left behind. So, 
The iron sharpened iron, think about what that means and what it stands for. You know, by me taking care of my granddaughter and, and talking to her and making sure that she understands that God is real. I asked my daughter, my granddaughter the other day, I said, is God real? What did you tell her? Yeah. And then I asked, I said, well, who is God? And what did you say? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? She said she, 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 she would know. No, but that's not her fault. Right. I said, who is God? And she said, I don't know. I had to start breaking it down to her. We're made in, in we are like God. We in God. We made in God image. We have to we have to do what's right into our bodies and to each other. And 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 I didn't want to try to throw it all at her one time, but I have to show her um, how to make this thing work so that she'll understand and she'll be able to see and understand who God is and how the Holy Spirit works. And when we pray and, and and have her when I read the the word with her that I'll break it down to her and let her know how real God is and that she is like God. Amen. You are like God. Amen. We are like God. We are not God. I said like God. We're yes, made in God's image. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And knowing that, that puts us in a position where we have to, again, be able to sharpen each other. As I'm going to sharpen my granddaughter, to give her the knowledge to understand where she is and where, what part she plays in this world as well. And how I'm trying to sharpen her to understand exactly what's necessary for her one day to sharpen her offspring. That's right. So, it's real talk live with Rodney Brown's people, people, power to power, positive thinking people. Um, I think you need to taste that. At least, at least get a pork bowl. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm I really I'm, wanted you to taste that sesame though, it's, it's salad. But um, this, this girl, <laughs> she okay. Go she ahead. she enjoying herself. Enjoy. Yeah. yeah. So, but um, we um, I want to thank um all of you for your prayers and your support and love um for my mom. She is still she still remains in the hospital um. She's coming along there. Um, um, she has some emotional moments because she's there by herself. She's alone and we can't be with her. So that emotional for her. So she wants to come home. Um, um, but they're going to keep her until they um, take care of her situation. situation. So thank you again for all your support and I ask for continuous prayers, and I will definitely keep you all updated, as I has been, those that have been texting me, calling me, um, um, I will continue to keep you updated. Thank you. Right. Again. Iron sharpens iron. Iron sharpens iron. That's what we do. Yes. My, my mother-in-law, believe it or not, I mean, she, I, 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 I can't even just, I can't even explain how she makes me feel like, I can be better than better. Yes, yes, yes. You know, she she always gives me that platform to feel like I can do good. And I, I I'm when the other day when uh, I saw her getting emotional, I couldn't even look at it. I couldn't look at it because all I, I told her I was I was I, all she got to do is say the word. I was on my way up to the hospital to to break her out the hospital. <laughs> now 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 that God just put something in my mind. See, if we don't take everything serious, any one of you could end up in that situation. I know some people who ended up in the hospital with COVID. So I know some people who died from it. I know some people who got it and didn't think that they was going to get it. I know some people who caught it twice. Mm. But what I'm going to tell you is this. See, we got to be careful because we will need each other. And the way that things are going, you do not want to be in a hospital where nobody can stand beside you and tell you they love you or hold your hand or make sure that the nurses are treating you right. Man, this is we're, we're in a situation right now that we've got to work together to make a change in our community, in our homes, 
in our lives. Don't let it wait uh, happen to you. Don't wait till it happen to you and you end up in one of those situations where it's you that have to call somebody and you'll be crying because you weren't being obedient. You weren't being supportive. You weren't trying to help other people. And you weren't really trying to help yourself. And more so, building your relationship with our Father God, the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you. Um, Kina, she says, hey guys, on my way home to see what hubby is cooking. <laughs> All right. Let us know what hubby is cooking. And if he cooked enough, we'd be right on we'll down be on there. We'd over there. <laughs> Rachel That's... says, Rachel says, my king was going to make meatloaf dinner, but he was called to drive the bus for the National Guards tonight and the weekend. So I would have a veggie wrap with pizza and popcorn. You do what you do, Queen. We and, love you. And, and speaking of that, Rachel, um, Rachel just celebrated her birthday. Yes. And um, because I have a, have a lot going on, we haven't been able to see each other to celebrate like we normally would. But I do want you to know that um, um, we are celebrating you every day, for one. And I love you dearly. And um, I do have something for you. Baby, do you want to grab that? bag right there um, I have something sitting here waiting on you um, am I supposed to open you can it? show the bag I love the bag and this bag um, it's a birthday bag it's so pretty it says happy birthday it says happy birthday isn't it beautiful um, you it's can heavy. open it up huh? you can you can open it and just take it out Why? what's inside just this, to show this, this is for Rachel I know. Don't she gotta come see this? No, huh? open, open the bag. Okay. She don't, she don't mind. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm always trying to get her to come so I can see her. So you know, but uh, why my birthday fast wasn't this big? Oh wow. Jealousy. Jealousy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, now you see why we have to show. We cannot just not show this. Isn't that? gorgeous and I know everything that's in there it Rachel um, you're gonna truly enjoy this basket happy birthday and it was created by you know no, the one and only, only. Beth Roots. Roots. yes, yes. Yeah, you know what I love I'm looking at this each basket is personally isn't it is personally designed yes. for the person. Yeah. Rachel is going to love this. this. Rachel, I picked out everything. <laughs> God forgive me for lying. Thank you, Belta, once again for putting your love and heart into it. Just you never cease to amaze me. You come through every single time, and I, I so truly appreciate you. And those of you again that has not had the experience of of um, Beth's basket, trust me and get one, please, because what it is is so unique about it. So when you talk to her, you tell her exactly who you are getting the basket for. Believe me, the baskets are designed personally for those individuals. Yes. So it's always something in there unique just for that person. Yes. She, she takes her time and put those baskets yes. together. And, so and she takes her time and she wants to know what you want in it. You know, she, she wants you to give her ideas of what you would like. So usually, you know, people just throw baskets together. She would sit with you or ask you, what are some of the things that that person likes? What do they like to do? You know, and that's how she creates. So that's why it's called Who's Creating Baskets. Yeah. How about so, that? Yeah. I, I'm telling you, please support her. Um, Bethel, please put your information in the comments. Um, and you all, you know, support her. You, you, you won't be disappointed. I guarantee you. Again, happy birthday, Rachel. And um, when you can, come on over. Pick up your basket. Now, <laughs> now also, y'all got to know that Rachel did a, a special... Um, um, dedication to Martin Luther King the other day too. Mm. 
So if you go on my page, you'll see that I posted that. And that was really nice. Oh man, she showed her she showed her artistic skills there as well. Mm -hmm. I see Vicky's in the house. Victoria. Victoria's here. Hey sweetheart, how you doing? God bless you. I, I just again I just man, I'm so excited. I'm so excited where we are and the things that's been happening. Um I, I've been talking to some individuals outside of the area. And what we are trying to do is we're trying to expand uh, some information. And, uh, oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Guess who is I'm in. so emotional. Oh, my goodness. Uh, don't you get to cry. My mommy is here. Oh, my goodness. Hello, mother. How Hi, you Ma. doing? We love you. My mother is here. Yes, she's, she's in the hospital. But she's but watching. But she's watching. So say hello to Marjorie Miles. If you look in the comments, you see Marjorie Miles. That's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's our mom. That's our mom. Well, my uh, mother-in-law, but I'm trying to tell you, she's a mother to me too. And I miss her so much. I can't wait till she come home and everything. And I, you think I've been spoiling you already. You wait till <laughs> you come home now. You better watch out. I got you, though. But I'm just so excited, and God is good, yes, and we just give is. praise to Him and thank Him for everything yes, He's been doing. Yes. So here we have our mom, my, my uh, Zena's mother, my mother-in-law, um, um, tuning in tonight, <laughs> and and God is good, and you just stay calm, relax, let the doctors do what they're doing. That's and, right. And so you can come on home, That's right. and then we'll take it from there yes. and make sure you have everything That's you need. Right. You won't be there much longer, Mom. Just let them do what they do, and yes. you'll be home soon. We love you, and oh my goodness, we can't wait for you to get home as well. I ain't shopping Zion. Yes, My yes. mother-in-law, she shopping me just <laughs> by just being a loving, kind woman. And, and, and every time I'm around her, uh, I try to be a much better man to her daughter because the way she is to me as a mother-in-law. And I want to tell you, thank you that you have done nothing but show me love. And I, I love you so much. I believe me. Um, you know, you mean the world to me, and I appreciate you. So uh, I always tell Zena, you know, I'm in a bad situation because if me and her ever break up, which I doubt that happened, <laughs> but if me and you would never break up, <laughs> she'd be like, Rodney at your house again? <laughs> I'll be right there with my mother-in-law forever oh, and ever. Goodness. That's my that's my heart. Um, so, so so I'm gonna read um, a so, few of these comments that's popping up. Um, Victoria wants to know who is this beautiful young lady with us. Who, who are, are you? you? <laughs> um, and who is Mila? <laughs> we'll take that. Mila is our granddaughter. She's the oldest of the grand um, girls. girls. She not, she's next to the oldest of, right? No, no, Kamari is older than her too, right? Yes. So you're the third And oldest. Kamari has a birthday coming up in a couple of days, on the 26th. His okay. birthday is so coming we got, up. We got, so you'll be a teenager. Yeah. So we got, we got graduates. Yes, so. Mar, um, Kamari will be turning a teenager. Oh. So yes. Um, the, oh, Michael is here. Hi, Michael. He Ma says, it's, Michael says, it's leftover Friday for me. Much love. You know what? It always tastes better the next day, I'm telling you. I'm trying to tell you. is the best. As long as it ain't past three days, you're good. <laughs> That's right. Zena so, don't let nothing stay in the refrigerator three days. <laughs> After three days, I be still trying to eat it. He does. And she be, she be talking about, don't you eat that? She be trying to throw it away <laughs> and, and get it out of there. But uh, uh, Thank that, you that for joining good. us, Michael. Um, what is it? Michelle Hines. She says... Um, Relax and listen to this positive message on today. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Thank you so much. And know that God is all. He, he, is, he is our vessel. He is our direction. He's our provider. And what we do is try to uh, be obedient and just reach out and show love and respect to our brothers and sisters. And that's for everybody. For everybody. This is our platform. I didn't say mine. I didn't say hers. This is ours. I can't wait to uh, things open up, and I'm going to start doing the uh, other productions that I do, the showcasing and stuff. People going to really, you you ain't seen nothing yet. No, you haven't. You wait till I'm, then you're going to see.
how God has really blessed yes, me. It's going to be a God, God is amazing. He, he has He has put me in, in in so many different positions to do things to help people, but uh, 2020 kind of snatched the rug from under me. But that's okay. It's momentarily. As soon as, as, soon as God says time, and you know, somebody gave me that message the other day. They said, Rodney, be patient. Be patient. Because it's in God's time. That's See, right. God is trying to get a, get the message to all of us. I'm getting my message. You know, I'm, I, I, I'm still not perfect, and I'm, I know that. I still got a lot of growing to do. And, and, and every day he's working with me, I got a lot of growing to do. I still be slipping and sliding to the left, to the right. And when I say that, I don't slip and slide like I used to. But every now and then, like something happened today, I ain't going to tell you what it was. Um, I, I, I end up getting something for free. And, I, and, and this was so funny. You know, sometimes you're trying to do the right thing. And sometimes Satan, uh, he'll, he'll just he'll twist it so you'll start feeling guilty. So I was in a situation where I ordered something. And the person didn't take the money. Now... When I was going, after they gave me my item, um, so many people had came around that his attention went totally off of me. And I went back to, to, to give him the money, and then a, another person told me, excuse me, can you move? So I moved out his way. I then was out of, the was out I was of out of the place. place. This is a small, um, <coughs> small, yeah. small place. So I said, oh, man. I said, well, you know what? You can go by there tomorrow. No, I'll, I'll go by another time and just tell them what happened. Because when I left out of there and I was riding, when I got home and told my wife what happened, all the time while I was riding home, I was like, Rodney, you could have forced yourself back in there to give them the money. Yeah. I didn't. I, but I didn't do it intentionally. Right. But, but I felt but so. It was already, it was so congested, and you see how the guy was getting. Irritated yeah, by right, you, right? Being in front so of him. to keep so, confusion or any, uh, you know, or no, you know what I don't want to do. Not a hand. Yeah, or, you no. Know, so. What I don't want to do is I don't want to rationalize the fact that. No, I'm not rationalizing. Not I'm just saying it could have gotten out of hand. Yes. So that part, I'm talking about me mm -hmm. and my heart. What I felt while I was riding home. Right. I, I said to myself, did I did I do the right thing? You know, and God was working on me. Stop. And God was working on me, and and he was talking to me, and he said, Rodney, if you don't feel you did the right thing in your heart, then you didn't do the right thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what God told me. Mm -hmm. And so, in, 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 and that's what I'm trying to tell you. I try to share with you. In the, in the parts where you're growing, not all the time will you do things and you do the right thing with the intentions of doing something wrong. That was my point for telling you that. Yeah. Because I didn't go there with the intent of not paying. It's just the way that it turned out. Mm -hmm. and, and and I felt so bad afterwards. So, you know, I will follow through and uh, here. And and make sure that I will um, correct that when I go and have the opportunity to tell them I don't have a problem because it wasn't that much of that money that I was, you know, was going to hurt me that bad. So, you know, I will go back so that I can actually know from my heart that I did the right thing. That's why when we're talking about, it, it's, it's, what's, it's what you feel inside that makes the difference, right, right? Right, right? If you don't feel good about something, then you know that you're not doing God's work. That's what I want my granddaughter to, to learn um, so she can understand who God is. When I asked her who God is, she said, well, I don't know. She said, real. That's what she told me, but she don't know who he is. Right. Well, I got to help her understand who he is. I got to help her understand how to identify I got to help her understand the, the, the concept of faith and, and growth and, and all these other stuff and, and all that stuff. Yeah, you, you, need to, you just made a mess. <laughs> yeah, Look at she's, you. She's, she emptied your plate and she's working on mine's now. Uh, I'm, so. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you. And, 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 and when we talk about God, so I'm, I'm going to take an opportunity real quick. I'm going to show you. I'm going to let my granddaughter see who God is. You know, every time that I see you, and I know that you're doing a good job at being a good girl. I thank God. Every time that you come in and, and you help your grandmother, or you, you come and tell me you love me, or you hug me, or give me, I ask you to do something, you do it without uh, hurting my feelings, I thank God. 
See, God is a provider of love and wisdom and understanding. And the older you get, you will understand that God is right there with you. Everywhere you go. He's inside of you. And that's when you're going to understand when somebody say, do you know God? And, you, and, and they say, yes. And they say, well, who is he? You can say, he's all of that goodness in me. Yes, he's he's all of that positive he's energy in me. Everything. He's everything that everything. I need. He's my, yes. he's my omega. He's my, my, yes. my king. Alpha. He's my omega. provider. Yes. That's, that's when you will start to understand how to describe him. But right now, she don't know. I told her. In the Bible, it said that Jesus wasn't held accountable for his actions until he was 12. And I think that applies with all the young people growing up. So my granddaughter is 11 years old. She'll be soon to be 12. But after 12, by the time she get there, when she come here, she's going to be in that word with me. I'm going to pray with her. And that's what all my grandkids, when they come in this door, that's what they're going to get. They're going to understand that God lives in here. And I ain't talking about me. I'm talking about the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to make sure that in the process, when people do ask them, they're going to be there to identify who God is. Iron sharpens iron. That's what we do. I got to sharpen my granddaughter. I'm <laughs> Let me tell you something. I'm, she... she See, right now, she's being real good. She a mess. <laughs> Sometimes she get on my nerves so bad that I, I be just want to go lock her in the room so she'll leave me alone. <laughs> but it's my heart, though. She know that. She know that. And 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 that's, again, God works. Because you make me have to be a better man and a better grandfather. What you say? What you say? Rachel says, I want to give praise. I want to give a praise before it. And say thank you to everyone from your from your program who reached out to help the young couple with two year old boy who was homeless. God blessed them to move into their new condo in Northwest. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. There Ooh, we go. But God. Nothing but, but God. God. But Come on God. now. Yes. How about that? To God be the glory. Mm, 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 mm. I just I, we want to say awesome. thank you um, when we talk about the program um, the other day when uh, God the Godmother Rachel was on here she talked about those individuals and some people reached out and that was a blessing and uh, that just go to show you that the program works um, um, the Godmother Rachel who's I gave her that, that title the Godmother because she's that type of person who's always, always, always trying to help somebody, always reaching out for somebody, always trying to support somebody. Um, her and a few other people. I didn't mention uh, my girl Tracy. I, I, I'm, 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 I got a bone to pick with her. Tracy. I know. Tracy, Tracy been uh, focusing. Tracy got something she's working on. Uh, we talked the other day, and she told me. She said, "Don't worry. I'm still in your corner. I'm still in your corner, and I believe that 100 percent." She has a distribution that she's doing on yeah. Sunday, so we're gonna, um, Vicky and I, are gonna help, help her. her. Yeah. So yes, Tracy, we will be there. Yes, um, Tracy. Tracy also had several other things that she was doing prior yeah, to does. coming yeah, in she with does us. A lot, so. Yeah, so she, you know, and I know she tried to break off and tried to help us, and she did. Um, and I just want to say thank you to everybody that reached out to us. You know, everybody. Lynn Nelson, she 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 reached out. She did a lot, and we appreciate uh, her support. Um, we had quite a few people that came in. Let me tell y'all something which y'all need to pay attention to. We can grow, and we won't even have to tag nobody if we can get over a thousand people to hit YouTube. We can go move to YouTube. And we can get a thousand people to subscribe. So we can't do it without you. We can't. We need you. We need you. We need then, you. then what we are able to do, uh, uh, we can just move forward, and we can just keep, keep on just supporting one another and watch this platform grow. See what you got to know, and this is something else I wanted to make very, very clear. This platform is just not about here in this area. We got people from all over. 
So, YouTube is all over the world. And the things that we talk about is for everybody in the world. Everybody has neighbors, everybody has children, grandchildren, sisters and brothers, mothers and daughters. Everybody in the whole world was affected by the pandemic. How about that? Right? This is an opportunity for us to use this. So when we ask you to go to YouTube or tell your friends, yo, don't be so, I, I, I ain't trying to help them do nothing. It's not about that. You helping yourself. This is not easy. And we're not saying that's what you're doing, but we're just asking if you would please go to the YouTube channel and subscribe and hit like. And also leave uh, something in the comments. Um, and, and, and we would definitely appreciate that. Uh, we appreciate your support just by being here. But we're trying to move forth and, and move on. Um, so that we won't be limited so much because here we're limited and um, they're watching us and they're you know so I can't do but so much so I if mean, you go there to YouTube and do we'll be able to move away from this platform onto um, something bigger something. And, and, yeah. and, and we're not going to leave Facebook as long no. as they don't run us out. Right. You we'll, know. we'll still be posting here, but we'll be able to utilize YouTube as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, we, we appreciate, range, we appreciate you know. this platform. Yes. It's just that sometimes it's like some of the rules, I think we kind of stuck over the line somewhere yeah, along yeah. the line and, and, and things that get a little shaky. Yeah. But this is not about trying to downplay nobody. Are we trying to move forward? I just think that God is using this opportunity to take us to a level where he's saying, Rodney, I know your heart, and you are, you are a good person to be in this position. That's why I tell you, when I start doing these showcases again, you're going to see what, you're going to see, I'm a beast. I don't have a problem telling you that. I'm a beast. If some of the people have been to some of my programs, they already know. And it's not easy to do. And it costs us a lot of money. I have not did a program yet that hasn't cost me at least four thousand. At least four thousand. Going up, purchasing the flyers, designing them, purchasing tickets, uh, paying for the, the the persons to work the lights, paying for the buildings, all of these things. If you if you never did it before, go and start trying to check into it. It's almost like when you're trying to do a wedding. We wanted to get married and have a big wedding. When we got in there and realized that by the time we came out talking to that lady, they was talking about fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. I was like, "You got to be kidding!" Me. Not that it was not worth it. It's just <coughs> well, no. I just felt like you know, you know, you know, you know what? We can save that money, and use it, you know, for other purposes. So, and and you know something? What I'm just telling you, this platform here is for us, for us to move forward. Um, actually, I got some phone calls that's going to come in later on. I'm getting ready to talk to some people who are some praying people um, in another location. I'm trying to uh, build a networking force where we're going to really elevate one another and, 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 and show the power. You know, we, you, you know what we did the other day um, that was so amazing? We had a, a, a prayer of, man, that was Woo. If you want to go check out something, mm. go back. What was the date of that day? Oh it was goodness. it was Monday, uh, the day that we celebrated Martin Luther Martin King's King. birthday. Yes. It wasn't it was it, it wasn't on the, actually on his birthday, but it's the day that the the government recognized it right. that where everybody was off, which right. was this past Monday. Right. Oh, you talking about a powerful, powerful? Oh my, oh my God! I'm telling you, that Pastor Joyce Major Jackson came on and. The Holy Spirit was in there, and I'm trying to tell you, it wasn't planned. We didn't know how it was going to go. I remember Prophet um, Katrina had said, just let go and let God, and that's what we did. We mm -hmm. let go and let God. Sit down and behave. You get a bit, you're doing too much. So, you know, <laughs> that's a... <laughs> I had to tell her when she was sitting over. I said, "Actually, don't. this is calm." I know, I know, because I, I had to tell. Her, I said, "Don't be jumping up and moving back and forth." Oh, this but is calm. The only 
reason why she ain't going nowhere because we got her blocked in. <laughs> but God is good. So, you know, um, if you want to go back and check out something, go back and check out that. I'm trying to tell you, that prayer was so powerful. Yes. I watched it three times. I watched it three times that day. That same day, I watched it three times. And, and she prayed. And then we had another brother. Uh, from, I forgot to name the church. They called in. Then he prayed a very powerful prayer. Uh, and then we also had uh, Prophet Katrina. Just she called in and read, uh, I think, a scripture. Yeah. And 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 I tried to I tried to put my two cents in there. Mm. You know, God's working with me too. <laughs> and I was just so thankful. But you talk about a powerful, powerful uh, 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 program. Uh, and we were supposed to be on for just one hour, and it went an hour and a half. Right. It, it, because it was it, the it, best we, hour and a half yes. ever. I'm telling you, it was I, powerful. It was just amazing. It was touching. It was emotional. Woo. So I tell you, just and know, so many people are still watching it. They, yeah. it's, it's it's just traveling on. It's just moving around a prayer circle, just yeah. going around. So it's just amazing. And also, what we we start what we talked about was after that we realized how important uh, prayer is. Um, and we're going to now do it every 40 days. It rained 40 days and 40 nights, right? Remember, we was talking about the ark, right? So listen to the concept where we're going with this. It rained 40 days and it rained 40 nights, okay? And God told, he told, uh, 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 it was Moses, right? That built the ark, right? Don't, 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 sometimes I've got to make sure before I... I, Noah. I, there was Noah. Noah. Yeah. They, see, that's why I said I knew I. Yeah. <laughs> it was Noah that built Noah. the ark, and and a lot of people didn't understand what Noah was doing, but Noah was being obedient. And see, when God told Noah to do this, he, you know, Noah was trying to tell me, and 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 everybody that know the story, they know that Noah wasn't well respected. They looked at him like he was a drunk, like he was a crazy man. But Noah was being obedient to the Holy Word. And, and, and so he did build that ark. And what happened when it started to rain, people started running toward that ark because now they were saying, oh, he knew what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. What he knew is that he kept, he kept his faith in God and he was obedient to the word. Now, I say all that to say that that's what we're doing. <coughs> Excuse me. I tell you, I know why... I used to wonder why pastors always had that water up there. <laughs> now you know. When, when you get to talking, your voice will get dry. And, <laughs> well, uh, I'm going to read a couple more because this is it's building up. Okay, so go I'm ahead and read. read. I got to go okay. get some water. So, oh, Rachel says, wow, was what for me? Thank you, guys. Yes, Rachel, that is for you. Happy birthday. And as you can see, um, people are saying happy birthday. And thank you again to... Um, Beth for creating that beautiful basket. Jaja, hello my beautiful niece. Jaja is um, my niece that lives in Texas and she's been a great supporter and um, eventually we're going to get you on the air Jaja because um, she's a woman of, of many talents herself. And I love her dearly. Thank you, Stacy. My cousin Stacy, thank you. She says, hello, Aunt Betty. Um, Rachel thanks you, Beto. And let's see. Rachel says, thank you, Zena and Rodney. I love you guys so much. Beth has posted her information in the comments. It's right there. It's www.bethcreativebaskets.com. It's right there in the comments. Please uh, connect with her and get your basket. And um, thank you, um, Beth, also for mailing out the basket to Brenda Minnick, my, um, my best friend coming up as a kid. Um, we grew up together. She was my best friend in South Carolina. I mean, well, in South Carolina. But... Um, Thank you for getting that basket out to her today. Um, Brenda, look out for it because it is in the mail. It is in the mail. So, let's see what else we have here. Oh, she said, Rachel said, bring her basket closer 
so she can smell it laughing out loud. <laughs> <laughs> and oh my one of my other sons Demetrius is here skit a scat he says hi grandma call her uh, not call her but um send out Marco Polo um Beth says hello mommy Marjorie thank you all for reaching out saying um um hello to my mom and wishing her well I appreciate that Beth says her daughter's birthday is the 26th too oh so we'll be celebrating too. How will she be, Beth? Though how will she be? Happy birthday to her as well. Um, fast approaching, just in a couple more days. Um, Michelle says, oh, sure, "Hope is a blessing." Yes, yes, it was awesome. Brenda is here. Okay. She said, "Good evening, my brothers in Christ, Rodney and Lady Z." That it keeps going fast. So. Tensi Lynch, welcome, praise God. Um, and Brenda says, God bless you all. Tensi is uh, from out of uh, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. Um, she's also a praying woman. And uh, that's Dr. Tensi. Dr. Tensi. Yes, that's Dr. Tensi Lynch. And um, we are, hopefully, we're going, to, I'm, I'm, I'm just praying that God is going to uh, connect this uh, vessel where we're building this spiritual ark that we all are going to be coming together. We're going to be building a prayer, a powerful prayer circle that we're going to be able to make changes and show that, that we have one of the most powerful weapons that you can ever have. And that's the power of prayer, having the Holy Spirit. And, and you know, when people come together and pray together, God shows his, his he, he just shows you how great he is. And so it's many of us who understand that when you pray by yourself sometimes you'll get so happy and excited because you'll be like thank you lord because he he showed you his mercy he showed you how how much he loves you but sometimes people don't get a chance to share that and to tell other people about it and that's what we want to do we want to make sure that people know that we are praying together and that we are coming together yes that's right we're a praying family family that prays together stays, stays together, together. And, and our, our, our ultimate goal is is to let people know that God is still in control. No matter how bad you think things were for you, you have to know that God is still in control. It's not man. It don't have nothing to do with really who in office. It don't. I'm talking about in the doctor's office, in the lawyer's office, any office. In the church office, where I, when I say the church, the building office where you... Congregate to go to praise God. See, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, it's about you know when you have think about this. I want you to think about this. When people come together in the building, what do they what do they establish? Do you know what they establish? When people come together to praise God in the building, what do they what do they what do they establish? You shouldn't be. When, when what is your body? Your body is the temple. Oh, oh, a temple. Okay. Come on, man. Come okay. on. Come okay. on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come Your body is the temple. Mm -hmm. Your body is the church. You, you know, people used to congregate, congregate right up under a tree, and they say we're gonna have church, right? Because they, you, you, when you come together as, as, as a group of people, you start to establish that. My purpose and my point I want to make is, when you come together and you're praying. That's what you're doing. You're establishing that church. You establish that church that you can do that over the phone. You can do it from the closet. You can do it from the car. You can do it from the building. That's what we are looking at moving forward. I know that, you know, even I think about a lot of people who have been blessed. And they've been blessed to uh, see things move in a positive way in their life. Obviously, they've been doing a lot of praying. And sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, people who are praying, do they get a chance to let people know how God has worked a miracle around them? 
because some things they want to stay private with. But they'll be praying because they may have cancer or they may have a sickness that was really detrimental to them or they had a financial problem that they couldn't tell or they couldn't talk about. But they prayed and they cried to God and God just answered their prayer. I remember a, a, a story I had a while back, a um, long time ago. Uh, I had some money, and I don't want to. I don't want this to sound because I don't want to make nobody sound bad. But it was when I was a young father, and uh, uh, my uh, one of my kids' mom was calling and said, "Yo, they need this. They need that," and we weren't in the we weren't in the right. We weren't in the best place at the time, and I was so devastated over what was going on that um, I was just calling on God so hard and asking God to uh, help me. And so when I went up, when I went up to bring the money, um, God, I, I was talking to God on the way up there. I, 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 y'all gotta excuse me. Stop for a minute. This is, you, you going in that, are you want some more? <laughs> that is irritating me. <laughs> She's sitting there picking and picking and picking. Stop for a minute. You're not that hungry. People probably looking at you and think we don't feed you. And the bad part is, is that she ate a lot before she even got here. Stop, stop, please. So, let me finish. Oh my goodness. Um, so, um, I, I, I tell you, so anyway, so when I went up there, I, I dropped the money off and it was the last bit of money I had and I was praying and I came back and I was literally crying. I was crying on the way back home and I was like, man, I just had to give up all my money, but now I don't have any money. And I was saying, God, I've been trying to do the right thing and everything. And this is me talking to God and praying, right? And this was a long, 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 long time ago. My kid, uh, my kids were really young. And uh, when I got home, there was a check in the mail that my mom said, Rodney, uh, something came in the mail for you. Now, when I left out of there, um, it, it, it was, it was it, it, I, I felt like I did just, didn't, you know, I just gave up everything that I had. But when I came back, it was a real, real nice check. And that wasn't nothing but God. God. It wasn't nothing but God. And I never forget that I ran upstairs. And I was at the time, I was real young. Um, I was in my in my mid-twenties. I ran upstairs and dropped to my knees and I just started praying and giving glory to God and praising him. That, that's all you know, all, all you know what? I didn't say it at that time, but I would say if I if I would have knew about that saying, I would have said, won't he, won't he do it? Because God had I know that I out of my heart that I went to do the right thing and I was hurting and he said, You know what? I got you. And see, now somebody would say that's coincidence that all of a sudden that all of this happened and then all of a sudden that that check came because they would say, oh no, the check was coming anyway. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. If you know God, God, He comes right when you need Him. Right when you need Him. <coughs> so, everybody that just joined in this Real Talk Live with Rodney Grimes, people to people, power to power, power to power, people, I, I need y'all to understand that God is real. And this is a platform for us yes, that we yes. use to move forward. Yes. We thank you, Lord, for everything. And we thank everybody that joins in with us. Yes, yes. We ask you to hit share and like. We ask you to go to YouTube. We are really, really asking that 2021 be a, a, a time that we move forward. Let me tell you, this is not easy. Me and my wife, uh, we have to make a lot of sacrifices to do this. Um, first of all, I, I thank you before and I thank you again because my wife allowed me to go and mess up her living room. Then she had me messing up her sitting room. And I even started, once when I started her early, I used to go in her dining room. And, um, and, and, and she's constantly been there to let me um, move forward. And, and she's been watching God work in my life where I'm being obedient. Yes. And, and my wife is being obedient too. She's being obedient to God by helping me to be a better me. Iron sharper nine, babe. Yes, iron right. sharper nine. Iron yes. Oh, um, my goodness. Rachel yeah. says, yes, it smells good. Thank you again. And Beth says she will be 27. Her daughter will be turning 27. So we have a great celebration coming up 
your daughter and our grandson will be turning 13. Tensi says, yes, I am on praying Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at noon. Okay. I, and, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, and my mom says, early birthday wishes for Shayla, Louise, and Sammy. Oh, my Shayla is, is um, my cousin, my mother's um, great niece, and Louise is my late aunt, which is my mother's sister, late sister that passed away, and Sammy is also a great nephew that passed away as well, so their birthdays are coming up. So thank you, Mommy. Um, Tissy Lynch left her information in the comments. Um, www.tmlynchministries.org for prayer line. That's the prayer line. www.tmlynchministries.org for the prayer line. Please, please, let's 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 network and and let's show Tennessee, um, you know, our support and that we, you know, something. I don't know. I, I, I so I I talked to Tennessee a little bit and I know her, and and I don't know. Just in my in my spirit, I just I just feel something real powerful getting ready to happen. I feel that God is getting ready to make some make some other changes where we're gonna be networking so powerful. That every time that one of us is in a dire need of some prayer and some support, that we're going to have a, 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 a serious uh, a platform to stand on that we won't feel alone and we won't feel left out and we'll be able to move forward. All you have to have is just a mustard seed just of faith. Just a mustard seed. A mustard seed of faith. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you that God will change things in your life. And I'm going to tell you, when God told me about the ark, here again, this is with, with ten, Dr. Tennessee Lynch. Is, 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 is talk, see, now she's becoming one of the people that's getting on the ark. I'm telling you. See, we, we, we're building the ark. And you have a piece of the wood to help the, to, to put it in, a, in place. So that all of us that's praying to God, we're going to be building this, this, this platform that we're going to be able to stand strong. And we're going to, be able to, we're going to have a, such a prayer, a prayer circle going that it's going to be phenomenal. I can't wait. Remember we said 40 days and 40 nights 40 that we're going to start this. So you already, you better remember the date. Um, what was Monday? What was the date of Monday? It was um, the 18th, right? Yeah, that was the holiday. It was January 18th. So 40 days from January 18th, uh, Real Talk Live, what we're going to do is we're going to we'll drop. We'll put it out there. We'll, we'll put we'll it back out there. it out there. For sure. Yes. And thank you, Tennessee, for putting that information there in the comments. Um, she said, yes, we are the elders of our own church. How about that? That's Hello, so true. Hello, Angela. Welcome, Angela. And Tissy says, please go to Amazon and get my book. Let's pay. Let's, Let's pray. pray. I'm sorry. Please go to Amazon and get my book. Let's pray. It is a self-help workbook to teach you on prayer. Come on now. So, you know we got to get we, out. Hey, hey, yes. hey, hey, Tissy, what we got to do is, and I can't wait to have you to call in and to talk about it and give that information. Um, so we can make that happen. So we're going to have that conversation. We're going to, um, we want to know all the information. So every, we are on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 630. So Tennessee, if you are available at that time, I don't care whether you are able to watch or not, just put your information in there. In there. Every, 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 every time, time that on. you know that we are on. And Angela Gomez, thank you, because she continues to Posters. Thank you, Angela. Yeah, Angela, Angela. she is faithful. Yes. She is one of the faithful uh, warriors that she does that on a regular. And I'm hoping that people are calling and supporting Angela. Yeah. Um, Angela, she sells jewelry. She's a paparazzi She's accessories. A, yes. So it's Angela Glitz Zazzy.com. A N G E L A G L I T Z Z A Z Z Y.com. And let me tell you something that all of us are going to see, you know, um, as we move forward. We keep we keep a record of uh, all of our individuals that we've been supporting. We're trying to figure out how to do it on a on a, 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 a platform where we're going to be able to just give everybody's information out so everybody can go back and show their support. 
But the way that you can actually do that right now is to go to YouTube and subscribe. Yes, and please. if you go to YouTube please. and subscribe, you'll be able to look at the different programs and be able to see. you. Yeah, let me tell you something. We do programs on depression. We do programs on drug recovery. We do, we do programs on... We, we had uh, um, Gwen Pratt and, and Vicki um, Sellers to come on. Mm -hmm. that their, 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 their two kids were murdered by, by law enforcement agents, uh, 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 um, people. And, and, and they came to share their story. And it was, so, it was a powerful message because a lot of people felt their pain. And some people have experienced those things. We had uh, uh, Penny Taylor come on and tell her her oh, her wow. story about her life that was yes. so so powerful. Yes, oh so my powerful. God, mm -hmm. I, I was so just I was just so enlightened by that. Um, we can go on. Uh, we had William Slade uh, to come on, and he was talking about his poetry books and some of the things that he had went through in his life. Mm -hmm. We had so many, so many people many come people. on that you know yeah. that had these things to to share. And, and we continue to do so, and we're going to keep moving forward. And I just thank God and give glory and praise. You know it's almost time for us to get up out of here. So let me try to finish a few more because it looks like I'm missing 13 comments waiting. Um, Erling Harris, good evening, Mr. Grimes. I pray for much success for you, and I will definitely hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Thank you Thank you so, so much. much. Yes. Um, Bernadette. Delton, welcome. Thank you. Michael says, I just subscribed. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Michael. Thank you so much. Yes, Gerald McCord, Real Talk Live family. And Tensi says, thank you. And it's not going to let me get the rest of them, so. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you that what we're going to do is we're going to continue to keep growing. And we're going to keep letting God handle everything. And we're going to just let go and let God. That's right. And we are a praying family. Um. Again, like I said, my, my granddaughter last night um, with her big head. This is my baby, though. I love her. Um, she did a great job. With <laughs> did you just wipe my kiss off? <laughs> Stop. Um, um, you know, one of the things that I just want to just thank God, I just thank for, for the love that I do receive. I have uh, three beautiful, really four. Uh, wait a minute. How many granddaughters I got? Now, I know... Ask four. 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 Because we got Duda. Duda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's four. Yeah. Right? So um, Duda, Duda is part of the clan. Yeah. And then we got uh, uh, um, four grandsons, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we kind of got oh. five. Yeah. <laughs> so, five. Cause we have five. Uh, we came. Leave Josh out. Can't do, well, and, and yeah, and Josh. <laughs> Behave. It, 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 if you saw him, then you'll remember because you. And we, we have Xavier, Kamari, Cam, 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 we have Josh. DJ. Oh, and DJ. DJ. Yeah, Josh. so Josh. So we got. We got. <laughs> We got grandchildren it's all over. It's complicated, but we It's complicated, them. but they're all ours. They're all ours, and, and that's, that's what matters. And I, they're they're, all they're, ours. And you know what I can't wait? When, when the next time that we have them all I'll over. I'll explain it to you later. When we have all of them over, um, I'm going to do a special. If it's not on the night that we do the program, I'm going to have it that we uh, do a special and have all the grandkids and sit down, and we're going to have a powwow, and I'm going to find out what they do know about God and, 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 and see where they all at. And see what you, I just want to hear some of the stuff they're gonna say. Yeah. You know. Thank so. you, Candace. Candace Carter. Thank you. Welcome. And she says she will be subscribing. Candace. Thank hey, you, Candace. Tell your mom we gotta do the photo shoot. I know she mentioned that to you. Let's make it happen. And Erling um, Harris says she hoped you had a chance to read her book. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, you know something? I have started it. No, I haven't finished it, but I know uh that's about the uh, police. Um, early, forgive me. I will do. I want to actually call and get you to call in, or even you can come in, whichever makes you feel comfortable. Um, I would love for you to come in and talk about your book so that we can actually uh, uh, get people to um, purchase your book and support it. And I'm not going to sit and lie. No, I, I, I read a couple of pages. But then I put it down because it was just a lot going on, but I got to pick it back up. But it's actually sitting on my desk. So um, I will continue to do so. Um, 
But everybody who has a book, um, what, what I'd like for you to do is just to place your book information on our uh, program. Let us know how to get it. We will continue to push it. And we will try to make sure that we take the time to support each other. Because that's the only way we're going to move forward. Let me tell you something. We're in a time in this country that anything that you conceive, you can achieve. That's right. Anything that you can conceive, you can achieve. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to tell you somebody you need to talk to. Mr. Warner Williams. Mm. Okay? If you want to know, you want to hear, you want to talk to somebody. Yes. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Talk to them. Yes. You want to talk to some positive people? I'm going to tell you something. You, you go back and look on our programs and look at some of the guests that we had on. We had some very, very powerful people on this program. A lot of people look at it and think, oh, because we're doing it out of our living room or out of our sitting room that we are peon. No, we, we big. We big. I'm telling you. Oprah, Wendy, Ellen, move over because Real Talk Live with Rodney Grimes and Lady Z is coming your direction. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. That's right. Okay? It's coming. I don't know how. All I know is God has already gave us the victory. Yes, and he right. already said it's going to happen. That's right. And it's going to be a platform where people are going to be able to come in. I'm going to be able to give people jobs. People are going to be able to come in and talk about their businesses. I don't need you to be a celebrity to come on this program. All I need you to do is be a person that's a positive thinking individual. That's right. All I need you to do is have that 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 love for iron sharpening iron. I, I need you to have that that PTP, people to people, power to power, positive thinking people attitude. That's all I need. All I need you to do is have a mustard seed of faith in God. For you to be able to come on this platform and to be able to show how powerful the word is. We appreciate everybody that joined in Real Talk. Also, we appreciate my granddaughter for maintaining and coming in and not destroying everything. <laughs> she, was, she was good. Candace Carter says, well, hopefully you guys will be visiting Georgia. You know I made the big move. You will keep in touch. Oh, yeah. Believe me. Hey, Candace, um, actually, we got people down in my one of my yes. older sister lives in Georgia. Um, <coughs> and we got family members down yes. there. We got family yes, members down there. So, Georgia. you know, um, when I come down there, don't think that I ain't going to I ain't gonna call you. Um, if I got to come down there to do that photo shoot because you are gorgeous. Candace, you are knockout gorgeous. I've been seeing you sometimes, and I'll be like, look, I'll call your mom and say, tell Candace, don't make me have to come down there. Hey, because you know I will. I just know that you are doing, I am very proud of you. God bless you. And continue to make sure, let me tell you something, and I'm telling you this directly. Make sure that you, when you are sitting down with your little girl, when, hey, teach her about praying. Read the Bible with her. Give her that tool. If you haven't started to do that, just try it. And watch how God changed things in your life. I'm not just telling you that. I'm telling anybody that's receiving this message right now. Start to get it where you use this, this, this powerful, powerful tool to let our children know the power of God. So you know what's going to happen real quick? Guess what? My granddaughter, because she is so powerful and she's so obedient, is getting ready to read. She can ready to read something real quick. Right here. Nope. I want you to read this one. Right there. Okay? And read it out loud, baby. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm going to see if I can get this mic over here because I want them to hear this as we go out. Um... Because I thank God for his mercy and his grace yes. and everything he's done for us. So, I don't want to break nothing up. And thank you, okay. Mommy, for joining oh. us. Okay, go ahead, baby. Take us out. Take us out. Make a joyful noise until the Lord uh, you wins. Serve the Lord with gladness. 
come before his presence with singing. We know ye that the Lord he is God. It is he that had made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into the gates with thanksgiving and into the courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Father God, we give you glory and praise. Hey, everybody, enjoy your evening. It's Real Talk Live with Rodney Grimes. People to people, pot to pot, positive thinking people. Thank you, Lady Z, and my daughter, our, our sweet granddaughter, Malia. Look, I... I wasn't saying no Malia. It, it came out me. It was me. I know. Girl. He just said Malia. I ain't saying no thank Malia. Thank all of you. And again, thank you, Mommy, for joining us. We I love, love you. you. So Can't much. wait for you to come home. Wait till you yes, come home. You're mm -hmm. We love you. And thank all right. you all for your prayers. It's real talk. Love you.